Okay, so now I will be explaining the operating principle of an alternating current generator, which is also known as an AC dynamo. Okay, so this is to the permanent magnet with north pole and south pole, and we have a coil and two slip rings. And it's different from the DC generator. DC gener generator uses the commutators, but in the AC generator, we will use the uh, these slip rings. And we have two carbon brushes, labeled P and Q, and we have a load. And we will use galvanometer as the load, uh, so that we can see the direction of the induced current. Okay, so now, the side AB, AB move upwards, and the side CD move downwards. So there will be a cutting of uh, across the magnetic field lines and produces an induced current. So the coil actually moves in a clockwise direction. And we, we apply the Fleming, Fleming's right hand rule and the induced current flows from the AB and from C to D, from A to B. So F uh, refers to the force, force is the time. This is our right hand, thumb, and this north to south. So the middle finger refers to the induced current. So the current moves inwards, just like the blue arrows. And in the external circuit, the current flows from brush P to brush Q. The galvanometer pointer deflects to the left. And the current at this instant is at maximum. After this position, the current decreases because the coil now is in the horizontal position. But as it turns, the coil goes to the vertical position and the side AB and CD move in parallel with the magnetic field lines. And no induced current is produced because there is no cutting of the field lines as the coil is in parallel to the magnetic field lines. And the galvanometer will return to the zero mark. After this position, the current increases again as uh, it moves back to the horizontal position. So now, the second one. This is quite similar with the previous one. And the side AB moves downwards. It continues to turn in a clockwise direction. But the side AB moves downwards and the side CD moves upwards and cutting across the magnetic field lines again and the current now flows from B to A and from D to C. In the external circuit, the current flows from the brush Q to brush P and the direction of the current is reversed and the galvanometer shows a deflection in the opposite direction which means it uh, deflects to the right. Uh, and after this position, the current decreases as it goes back to the uh, vertical position again and there will be no cutting of magnetic field lines and again, no current is induced. But after the vertical position again, the current increases and the whole process is repeat again and the coin continues to move and there will be the current continuously induced. So now the next thing which is very important for AC generator, uh, which is also known as the AC dynamo, is the graph, graph of the AC generator. Uh, we have two axes, which is the induced current, or you can write it as the induced EMF, which is in voltage V, and this is the time, the period. And different from the uh, DC generator, which is only in one direction, the AC generator will move in two directions, so the graph will be a complete sine curve. So I think that's all for the operating principle of an alternating current generator. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.